what does it mean to be embodied is the question. Let's just imagine, for some reason, I imagine a Christmas tree. When you have like a, a construction paper cut out of it, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, it's a little flat thing. And like, you know, we have like a little yellow star on top of it. You see that. Like, okay, you have like the idea of a Christmas tree. Let's like make it a play, a play, a fake Christmas tree. And so now, you know, it has three dimensions and you have, you see little branches and everything. Yeah. Then let's add, you know, let's add another layer to it where it's like actually a real tree And, you know, it had, you know, and you, and it's in your house and you smell the smell coming from it. And like, there's the leaves, the the pine needles are dropping and, you know, you feel the sap and all of that. And let's take it even further. Oh, you've gone like into the woods and like, you know, gone through like the, the chopping down of it and like calling it and the heaviness of it. And then to your, to your house and then the decorating. And so embodiment is that embodiment is the full experience of life of yourself it has all the senses taste touch smell sight sound plus your heart is in it you know it creates and it creates memories and so embodiment is that and there are a lot of times that we can go through life where it's more like the the paper cutout like this is pleasure or that you know and that happens because um we're trying to do that you are trying to do things right and we've been told that you know if it's too it's too much if you're like this really big full grown tree that has all these smells and memories and experience around them but then what ends up happening is we deny our own selves the full experience of our beings 